I was born in Lagos, Nigeria, and in a sort of cushy uh, suburban um, uh, environment. In the early 2000s, the new millennium, my parents decided uh, um, to move us to the UK. It's about like getting us to a, a position in life that we can basically think bigger dreams. Grew up in the south of Brixton, where um, you know there's quite a lot of, of black, this black community. It means that I have this sort of dual, like relationship, dual heritage, dual identity. My my my, my cohort were the sort of not British folk. You had your parents' culture, you had the culture that you are in, and then you're creating this new culture. We were the third culture kids. University was a little bit of a culture shock, a little bit of a baptism of fire, and I, I, I'd say I'd struggled a little bit. There was sort of doubts in my head about, you know, do I want to do, actually do this? Um, am I really good at it? And uh, yeah, you, you question yourself. Uh, so this is my portfolio. I think architecture needs a little bit of bringing multiple functions into one building so that people can play and enjoy their built environment. I think that's key in architecture. I think architecture needs to be playful, you know. Maybe people need to enjoy the space. What are the things, what things can you do to make people enjoy their city? I think it's the teaching within Sheffield that really gets you closer to the community. They actually get you to go outside and talk to the people. With the presidency, it's, oh, I'm taking a little bit of leaf from Sheffield in communicating the merits of architecture, architects, and communicating the fact that architects need to be talking to the community. We need to show that we care about community issues and we're solving problems for the community and therefore they will demand better architecture from us. The vision of architecture practice that we we're in a crossroads of. We came out of the pandemic. There was definitely a, a conversation to be had and change with the times. Embrace innovation, embrace digital culture uh, and be more forthright and scale up our leadership skills in the climate emergency. Being in, at the RIVA, where it has this convenient power, it has an authority within the built environment, it felt like the right place to do it. And that joy is in that, trying to bring that into the workplace. That's where I set up Mega Group, which is the multi-ethnic group and allies network. It's an employee research group that looks at racial equality in the workplace and set up because I felt like there needed to be a diversity in thinking similar to that diversity and racial equality that was in the group of friends that I had growing up. There's a need to have more aspirational profession so that we get a next generation people who aspire inspired to be architects outside of just love of architecture. How would my friend describe me as someone who is there for them, come rain or sunshine, someone who has that listening ear? I like to be that listening ear for people. I like to be that someone who they can trust. My name is Moiwa Oki. I'm the president of the Royal Institute of British Architects. Okay.